Good morning, YouTube. What's up, guys? I got my cup of coffee. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about something real quickly that's very important for the body of Christ. So, what I want to talk to you guys about this morning is about something my wife and I were just reading in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10. And uh, it deals with a lot of the language that we uh, we speak in the body of Christ nowadays. You know, I hear a lot of, well, I'm just human. Um, well, you know, God knows I'm going to sin. God knows I'm not perfect. Um, God understands when I fall. And if I fall, he understands. Uh, it's it's inevitable. I'm going to fall. I just know it. I'm going to stumble. Um, I'm a human. We're in this world. We might not be of it, but we're in it. You understand that, Nick? And I, and I know what you guys are saying because I used to say this. But I want to go to the word of God because I found something out that if what we believe is not in line and in accordance to the word of God, then we're believing a lie, an absolute lie. And it's not going to empower us to live like Christ lived, walk like Christ walked. So let's get to the truth. Let's embrace it. Let's receive it. Let's believe it. And let's thank God for it so that we can expect it and walk according to it. And that's how we see victory only according to the word. All right. Oh, that was good. Ooh, so good. All right. So, like I said, chapter ten of First Corinthians, and uh, we're going to start with verse twelve. You see, it's been talking about sexual immorality. It's been talking about just. Uh, people who fell and um, people who who got deceived people who were destroyed um, People who were just walking foolishly and were just not walking in the will of God and in the things that God desired for his people So that relates to us very much today Even though we're new covenant it still relates to us because just like in the Old Testament we have relationship with God we we have some things that we are tempted with is some things that we are not supposed to do and we have the ways and the will and the word and the wisdom of God to follow and to submit under right so watch this starting in verse, in verse 12 it says therefore let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to men watch this but God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able so I'm gonna stop right there do you see what it says it says no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to men guess how God came in the flesh in the likeness the Bible says of men of sinful flesh that means no temptation has overtaken you or me that Jesus wasn't able to endure as a man, not as God, as a man with sinful flesh. So this means Jesus was able to endure and to not fall under those temptations even though he was a man. That means we are able to do it as well. Why? Because Jesus had the spirit and the Bible says we have the spirit and by the spirit we can put to death the deeds of the flesh now let me keep going so it says God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able this means anything that you're tempted with today or tomorrow anything I'm tempted with God is able to get us out of why because anything that we're tempted of is is, 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 is not beyond what we are able to endure, persevere, and overcome. This is saying any temptation we come across in our lives as men, right? We're able to overcome because no temptation will come on us that we are not able to handle, to endure, to bear. You understand what I'm saying to you? But it says, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So right here it says that where temptation is, God has already made a way of escape. So a lot of people say, well, I got tempted. I'm a man. I couldn't handle it. Well, I got tempted. I have flesh. I'm bound to fall. I'm bound to sin. Let me tell you something. When you and I, or if you and I fall and sin and get overcome by temptation instead of overcoming the temptation, it does not mean that God knows it and God agrees with it and God is okay with it. It simply means that we missed 
the way that God set for us, the way of escape. That means we fail to see the escape route. We fail to see the path that God laid out before for us. That means we fail to see the paths of righteousness that God has for us because it says that he will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So don't say you're going to fall because you're a man. Instead say, because I have the spirit, I'm able to live like Jesus lived as a man. And I'm able to follow the way of escape from temptation, the paths of righteousness, and look like Christ and let my light shine and walk in holiness, produce good fruit and righteousness because, because I can. Simply because you can, you can do it. Simply because God has made a way of escape. Simply because the spirit is greater than the flesh. Simply because no temptation is greater than what you can handle because you're you're a son and a daughter of God and you have authority and you have the ability, the power and the grace is with you to overcome. Don't get overcome by temptation by letting lies overcome your mind. You can do it because there is a way of escape. Amen. I love you guys. I hope this encourages you because it's the truth and knowing the truth sets you free. Until next time, read on this, feed on this because this is where the truth is at. I just want to say what's up to all my Facebook, YouTube, friends, and family. And I just want to tell you to keep on fighting the good fight of faith and to keep on running the race with endurance that is set before you because Jesus is king and you are more than a conqueror. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Nick Acosta, and YouTube, Nick Acosta. If you have anything to ask me, any prayer needs, or any type of um, concerns, email me at nickacosta, son of God, at gmail.com. Bless you guys.